So. <laughs> so ideally, this is the compartment I was going to have to go first. Because, okay, we have my landmarks. So we have tibia here, you can palpate it. You feel the bone in the side. And then we go with over there, we our interior compartment, tibia on this side. And we're going to have our posterior over here. So if you palpate your bone, and what I was going to do with the marker is really just kind of mark it out so people back there can see also. You want a pen? Yeah, you got a pen? Writing bad words. Uh, you're, you're, you're just palpating the tip. Okay. Like, so you're, you're feeling this and you're going straight down because that's going to help you define out uh, where is your anterior compartment, like off the side, and then uh, most of your lateral, the most high yield ones, if we're talking about anterior compartment. If we had damage there, such as my snowboarding injury, uh, then classically it would be, you know, where is the function in that compartment? It's, uh, can you do dorsal flexion in this area, and posterior will be more plantar flexion. So we're just trying to like isolate those muscles to figure out what the compartment is. Good. So now you have this. You find your tibia, you have here. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, you measured out about a finger's breadth away, so about a centimeter out. And my huge fracture is right here. So you're within five centimeters if you're coming about to this area. Gotcha. Okay. So you have a good idea. So why don't you go ahead and just use one of the core preps. Do that, you can drop some lidocaine and just put it over here. And I want to just go ahead and do both at the same time, so we don't have to waste more time. Like, and just manage that. No pressure. I have to take a while. I'm going 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 to <laughs> there we go. Alright. Slow and steady works as well. I never rush on. You're not be accusing Jan of being slow. <laughs> Increasing the thing, and that's part of why you know, we're not flooding it. You know, it's not like when I'm, we're addressing the hip, and also we're putting 20 cc's of light in that space. We're really just doing the wheel and the top part and the time it down because it's true, a tiny bit of like uh, fluid could artificially increase the compartment. Um, so, yeah, if you just touch the wheel and with this needle, it only goes to about a centimeter or so, there's not too much space like it's going into that's it, not like anesthetized. But, yeah, so I guess the other take home messages don't flood it like fully. So, you have one gloves. Now, if you're with someone else, you'd have a drape all over this, but I want you guys to be able to see everything. So, we're just going to see if I get stuck there or not. <laughs> I call, I call Silverberg. Of course. <laughs> but what you'd be using is. <laughs> Pretending everything is there on. That's right. It so, is. Just auto <laughs> Practice here, we're going about a few centimeters. Yeah, and about yeah, one yeah, finger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One yeah. yeah. finger width. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not even soundtrack. I like the Bowie theme. Oh! It's gonna, it's gonna burn a little bit. The person who rejects all the time is that. Yeah. A little more just superficially. Yeah. That way, not putting too much in that muscle. It's like not so deep. Yeah. Actually, it actually doesn't burn at all. Patients are liars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just use the actual field. Did you clean that time? I didn't actually put any lighting. So you didn't measure. <laughs> Did he clean that side? He didn't uh, get another yeah, side. I'm just making sure. <laughs> 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 
I want to. There's a spot there. <laughs> project tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, probably not going to be deep. Yeah, I mean, I know they're trying to do posterior. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> as far as deep posterior, superficial posterior here, and then lateral on the side. And then the ones that are most involved in traumatic injury, because it's like the snowboarding, it's going to be this from the anterior. And if, uh, if you want to do this one, you can switch out your videography. All right, so I, I feel plenty well anesthetized. Now I put the thing together. So I have an excellent video. I assume you know yeah. how to do this. Three CC syringe. Okay, but where's the round thing? Round thing? Do, sir. That's right. <laughs> So each thing's kind of individually wrapped, and so it makes it, Keep it still. both wasteful and damaging to the ocean. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, so my assumption is that this doesn't need to be a completely sterile procedure. No. Okay. I mean, this is, this is completely sterile. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I mean, as, as much as it would be putting an IV or anything else, right. and that's why chloroprep right. and trying not to cough too much is probably the best. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what is the set of That's actually going to go into the back of the set of things. Uh-oh. That's the range of the needle. So yes. basically, you're using this as a diaphragm, yeah. so then that way, yeah. when you gotcha. press all the bubbles out of there, it's not the needle, you just have like a kind of closed compartment. Gotcha. So now you have that, hold it up, and see if you have any bubbles in there. So it's like you might have a little bit in the top. Like, wait a minute. Any more MLI after the year? You can see an ultrasound. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can see you're pressing it through the diaphragm. There we go. All right, good. So now that whole system is good. So now you have the whole thing put together. Attach it to the case in the reading. I should show it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Like it's, it's very intuitive, like how this kind of fits in there, and then the back of the this part outside the back. So if you rotate this back part so it's kind of flat across, then it's a lockdown. Actually, the back part of the syringe just had to kind of turn it so that way. So it lies flat. Yeah. It locks in. Locks in. Now does the batteries work? Uh, hopefully. Where's the on switch? Ooh. Yeah. All right. The is there. You turn it on. Now we have some sort of value down there. So, let's see. so now you want to do is get it in position 90 degrees to where you want to check it, and that's when you're going to zero. So basically, try to hold so I'm on the surface at um, zero at the skin at the surface. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to be kind of holding it just below the surface. Now you have all the water, all your bubbles pushed through. So it's a closed system. And the only way it's there because like right now it's negative four. So now it's like making contact, that's not zero? Yeah, because that was it. Now it's zero. Now it's zero. It's going to zero it out. So you're zeroing it as it makes contact? Yeah, because that's your way of like, proving that you're really... Contact, you just make the same thing. That 90 degrees. You have the same thing. Are we going now? All right, so we zeroed. I have zero, zero. All right. So go in. You may just about send here. So you can really just go in about as far as you have. I lost count. Yeah. Okay. So now you're holding it, you're holding that depth in, and you're just gonna press the back part, push in like a half cc. Okay. So this is now. Relax. So that was about thirty-seven. Oh snap! And we're seeing where it out. You gotta give a chance to view. Uh, 14. 14. About 11. 10. Alright. 10 or 11. So, I don't have to go to the OR today, so that's good. So, I don't right. your blood pressure <laughs> 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 Increasing the perfusion. What's that? Well, that's just going to change based on clinical uh, uh, suspicion. 
And so one of the other ways you can do is actually leave the catheter in and you're kind of checking it continuously. And sometimes they'll do that. Never, I've never seen it done in the ER, but like if you're on the orthopedic floor, they want to continually check those pressures. But if nothing else, this is something fairly minimally invasive. If they you want to check it to kind of build an argument, they should go to the OR. Let's say you got a measurement of 29, and your orthopedic was like, well, you know, he's not quite there. He doesn't really have any pain. We're going to watch it. Okay, fine. And it's kind of like, you know, like a serial fast or something else, you can recheck that pressure later. And certainly if I start saying, oh wait, my toe's not, oh wait, something's changing clinically, so it makes sense to recheck. So, how was it? All right. It was great. All right. <laughs> <laughs>